Hi, I'm Jeannie. I'm here with the Birds to talk about their new release on Greenway Records called Everything All at Once. Hi, Dwayne. How are you? Hey, how's it going? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. Cool. So are you excited about your new debut record yeah. that was released in August? August, yeah, for sure. It's so rude. tell me about the writing process about this album. Just kind of, uh, I uh, wrote a bunch of songs in my basement for like three months. Okay. And then met Jess Reese when I recorded her other band, Russian Bass. And then met Jess Renoza and Tim. I've known Tim for a while. Was this famous basement Time Castle Records? It, it was Time Castle, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, so tell me about that. Like, what other bands have you recorded in there, and um, um, what do you hope to do with it in the future? Well, if I've been doing it for like four years, and I've, I can't list all the bands. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. But like uh, Retail, Yin Yangs, uh, Psychic Selves, Stide Eyed. Yeah. Um, I just recorded this good band called Arc Light. Ooh. That was pretty good. Glass Slipper. A lot of bands, a lot cool. of like Brooklyn. New bands. As long as we have the lease, <laughs> we'll keep doing it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Introduce me to your other band members here. <laughs> <laughs> We're missing Tim. Tim had to go to uh, Philly. He's in another band. Oh, okay. He had a show tonight. But this is Jess Reese. And that's Jessica Renoza. Guitar, <laughs> bass. Ah, uh, very vocal. cool. Vocals. Where are you guys all from? Are you originally from Bushwick? No. We li well, I live in Bed-Stuy, but I'm from Colonial Williamsburg, Virginia. Oh, wow. You ever go to Bush Gardens when you were a kid? Never made it to Bush Gardens. I lived there for 20 years. I never made it. It's, it's unfortunate. It's still there. Yeah, I know. There's always next year. But. So what was your favorite song on this album that you like to record? or? I like that? this this one called I Can't Wait, but we don't know how to play it. And so it's like, it's, I don't know, it's a really like dark, like long yeah. song. So if we did play it live, it would probably get pretty boring, but I really liked recording that one. Where did you guys get the name of your band from? I can't remember really, but it's either that there's this graffiti near my house, so these like silver tin foil birds that have been oh, on this okay. wall for a long time, and I would see them when I would walk around. Like I think when I first called it birds, the idea was to have it be like a looser lineup, and if it was like two people, it'd be like mm -hmm. two birds. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it was like a duo night. If it's like one, if it's just me, it's like lone bird or solo bird, solo bird. Have you ever been? Influenced by the Alfred Hitchcock movie, The Birds. I do like that. I do like that <laughs> movie. And that was shot in uh, Bodega Bay. Yeah. Which was another great Brooklyn band. That, oh, wow. I don't know if you heard that. I haven't heard of Bodega Bay yet. Well, they've split. They're now Bodega and Toys Ann. Oh, okay. Gotcha. But they were Bodega Bay. Gotcha. Okay. So what's your favorite place to play in Brooklyn or some of your favorite places to go to? I think... Union, we like Union Pool, Union yeah. Union Pool's good. Union Pool's good. I really like Berlin in the city. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. yeah, on it's Avenue tiny. A. Yeah. If it's you got like 10 people there, it feels like it's sold out. Oh, no. Yeah, it's one of my favorite <laughs> venues because it's in Manhattan. I don't have to leave. You live in Manhattan? Yeah, I do live in Manhattan. That's crazy. I live in Midtown, so I... Wow. Have, I've always wanted to live in Bushwick, but I can't afford to live <laughs> off of Myrtle Wyckoff. What? It's $1,900 for a studio to live on Myrtle Wyckoff. That's a lot. That's a lot of money. That's I don't know. I've never lived in Bushwick, so oh, I don't know. Okay. I've always lived in Bed-Stuy gotcha. and like Clinton Hill. So you live in Midtown? Yeah. How often do you go to the M&M store? Not very often. <laughs> it's a waste. It's a waste of Midtown. I, I love <laughs> M&M's, but there's something disturbing about having to pay $14 a pound for them oh, when they're gray. I guess so, yeah. Unless you're looking for like mint M&M's. Mint M&M's? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Or cookie dough M&M's or whatever they have over there. $14? <laughs> it's something <laughs> insane per pound. That's crazy. It's very, very expensive. It's but like, it has that vibe of yeah. New York, you know? Exactly. They're <laughs> 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 so paying for the environment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guess where I bought these gray M&M's? Yeah. Vegas? <laughs> no. <laughs> Midtown. <Yeah>. 14 bones. <laughs> <laughs> They're M&M's. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't get it. <laughs> it's not for everyone. New York's not for everyone. Where have you guys been on tour and where do you hope to go on tour? Uh, we've done a couple of little like weekend jaunts to like Harrisburg and Richmond and um, Philly. 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 We're actually going to be on tour shortly. Maybe we are now. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to... Uh, everywhere, like, well, not everywhere, but East Coast, Midwest, yeah. like, down to New Orleans, I think we're going to Muncie, and then... <laughs> Indiana? I think so. Wow, that's <laughs> where that was! Yeah. yeah, yeah, I've never even heard of it. I thought it was, a, like, a fake... 
Um, no offense, no, Muncie. There, there's a lot of fake places like Hazard, Kentucky, Hollywood, Florida. Those are real, though. Yeah. Right? Oh, like, oh, I like see what you're saying. Like sounding. sound fake. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys think this show is better than TRL or worse than TRL? TRL? It's back. <laughs> it's back. What do you mean? No way. It's back? No, it's back, yeah. I live in, in Midtown. I see it every day. Are there's they like, in the window? Yeah, and there's children. Who's up there? I don't know. A whole bunch of YouTube stars and Cardi B. What other music have you guys released besides everything all at once? Well, we have a seven inch out right now. Ooh, let me see. We recorded at Time Castle. Okay. And st it's with uh, Stydied and us. And uh, yeah. Oh, that's really cool. I love Stydied. They're a really great band. Yeah, they started in, in my basement. Oh, really? Is that well, kind of. Nelson had a lot of songs and he would like, we recorded for a really long time to get oh, the first Oh, that's so thing. cool. Did yeah. you record Funeral down there too? No, he did that somewhere else. It was like a thing before oh. that, it was called Birth. There was one called Birth? Yeah. I've never heard Birth before. It, Where is it? It got taken down. You don't <laughs> want to keep it all out there. You know, like that's you true. Want, you know. Oh, great. There's a mystique. There's yeah. Birth from Stydad running around. and It's somewhere out there. Someone everything all at one once <laughs> from <laughs> the birds, available on Greenway Records, Greenway. one of the best vinyl labels out there in New York City. I don't have a button on. I should have a Greenway <laughs> button on. Yeah, it's got like one of the best logos ever. It's got an eye. Forget yeah, online. Yeah, yeah, order me a button <laughs> online. <laughs>